Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Spagabber Backpacking. I know, again, it's been a long break between videos, but I've had a lot going on. I know I keep saying that, but uh, I actually just a little over a week ago had shoulder surgery on my left shoulder. This is the fourth surgery I've had on this shoulder. Uh, this one though, I'm actually recovering really quick from. They've got three holes where they went in and scoped it, cleaned it out. This was more of a, a maintenance type surgery to clean out arthritis and some bone spurs that had developed. Uh, no real reconstruction there. So, you know, I'm actually doing really well and am thankful for the, the quick recovery that, that I'm seeing on this one. So uh, super happy about that. But I wanted to get out here today, this morning, come out and make up some coffee. I got a new uh, piece of equipment little little kit that came in the mail it's the k-flow uh kind of a cool little portable coffee maker kind of a, an espresso maker uh like some other ones that are out there on the market deals with with building up pressure running it through a uh, porta filter type design and coming up with some coffee so let's take a look at what we've got in here okay so when we open this up you've got the instruction manual what's really nice is the instruction manual is in easy to follow English instructions, so no problems there. Taking it out of the box, uh, it actually comes with in a pretty decent form factor here. So you've got cups, it actually comes with two cups, but uh, I only have one right here. Move this off to the side. So, cup and then the actual design itself. Now, what's cool is I've got another one that has the plunger that's on the side. So you have to hold it and do the plunger with your thumb or use your other hand to push it. This one, the plunger is actually up on top. So you can press down on it and it goes with the, with the direction that you're actually pushing, uh, which is kind of nice. The water chamber is up top. So you unscrew that, fill that with, with water. Your porta filter basket is on the bottom. So you've got this open it up, fill it with your coffee, tamp it down, get back on and you're ready to go. Now, the way that it stores is kind of nice, that it, it snaps in here so it's it's pretty secure. I wouldn't, I wouldn't count on it not falling out of there. You put a little bit of force behind it, it comes out, and then the cup just kind of fits over the top. So not a bad portable storage design there. And then when you're ready to brew, you take the cup off, turn it over, pull this out, turn this over, put it over the cup. This now goes in here, open it up and you pump it. And that's how you make coffee. So let's make a cup of coffee and talk about what's good and what's bad about this. All right, so the coffee that we're gonna be using today is from Hilltop Packs. It's Hilltop Packs new coffee company. And we're gonna be using the Ethiopia, the early bird blend, or, or early bird is what they're calling it. It's a light roast. I've got whole beans. It was roasted earlier this month. The flavor notes are honey, green tea, lemon, lemon and lime, and lemongrass. Uh, medium body, bright acidity, and it's washed. Now, the bright acidity going with a uh, an espresso is going to be a little bit weird, a little bit different. It's going to to work differently than a lot of espressos do and so that's why a lot of people go with a, a little bit darker bean for a an espresso my typical way of doing coffee these days anyway is a pour over sometimes i still use the aeropress but i do like the pour over uh quite a bit but today we're going to be doing up a semi uh espresso so i've got hot water in here it was uh it was boiling when i put it in there so it should be nice and hot I have made a cup already on here today, so this is already kind of warmed up. But here's what I'm gonna show you. So, the way, it says you, you fill it up with a fine grind and then you tamp it down. It doesn't come with a tamp. Nothing on here is really the size to tamp it. So, you're, I use the, the heel of my hand to tamp it down. Now, to determine how much coffee to grind, because you don't wanna have a bunch of wasted coffee, you don't wanna to grind too much, and then it's gonna go stale if you're not gonna use it. So, the way that I do it is I take the, the actual coffee receptacle, and I'll take the beans, and I will actually fill it pretty much right to the top with the beans, just like that. I will add just a drop of water to these beans. 
in my, my grinder. Now for the grind size, this is my onesie presso uh, grinder and I am running it at 20 clicks finer than what I do for a, uh, for a pour over. So quite a bit finer. I'll show you the consistency. Okay, so now that I've got it ground, I will show you guys what the consistency looks like. So you can see here, it is pretty powdery. It is pretty fine. Uh, I might even be able to go a little bit finer than that, but that's what I've come up with so far that's worked pretty well. So now I'll take the receptacle and I'll just kind of put it in there and kind of turn it as I'm dumping it in there to try and spread it out as well as I can until I get to the point where it's pretty much mounted up at the top. I'll just take the heel of my hand and push it in, which tamps it down a little bit, which allows me to put the rest of it in. Okay, and then I'll give it a pretty decent tamp down. And I could have gone a little more on the coffee there, but that will work. You just screw this back together, and that's your coffee puck. Just locks onto the bottom with a little quarter turn. So just put it in, little quarter turn, it locks in there. Then unscrew the top. There is a a line right inside of here, a lip that you will fill the water to. So it's nice that you really truly don't have to measure anything to make this work correctly. Now you put this on, screw it on, make sure your cup's in there. And now it's as simple as pressing. Now the uh, instruction manual calls for one press every two seconds. And you'll notice that it hasn't started flowing any coffee out of the bottom yet. So it is now saturating that puck with water and building up pressure in that pour filter. And there it goes. And now there's no pressure there. We have used it all. So now we can take a look at the shot. And it's a bigger shot. I mean, it was a, a fair amount of, of water that we put in there. And you can see that it actually has some, some crema or something that resembles a crema on top. And it's gonna be a little bit warm, but let's take a taste. Yeah. It's, it's interesting using a light roast for an espresso. You get a completely different flavor profile. And, and I'll be completely honest with this one, I get, I get a lot of the, uh, the lemon, a lot of the lemon. Using it, yeah, using it this way, I get a lot of lemon. That's that's like the predominant note there. It's like that that acidity that's in there uh, really comes across as lemon. It's got a little bit of a, a bite to the tongue, but it's kind of nice. It's different than the the normal kind of on the bitter side of a, uh, an espresso, or a, uh, yeah, an espresso shot. Now, the other cool thing about this, if you notice, I was pressing straight down, which makes it really easy to use. Uh, you know, I'm not hold, I don't have to hold it. I can set it down and just do it. The other one, the other one that I use takes two hands because you've got the plunger kind of on the side. Um, you know, it's, it's a pretty cool little unit. The weight on that is 13 ounces. 13.3 uh, ounces is what it came out to, and I think that was like 337 or something like that grams. Um, but it also, instead of the the ground filter or the ground coffee filter, that you can get one for Nespresso pods or for a different set of pods that I, I actually have never heard of. But uh, you can't go with Nespresso pods or the ground. I prefer the ground. But you know, if if you already do Nespresso, uh, it could be a a good way to go. So what are my thoughts on this? Well, it's not a bad, it's not a bad unit at all. It, uh, so what are my thoughts on this? Well, not a bad unit. It's a, it's an economical unit. I'll put the price right down here. And that's the current price on Amazon at this time. You know, you may be able to find it cheaper. It may go up in price, but it's a relatively inexpensive piece of gear. It works. It does the job, and and honestly, I, I find that the form factor and the way that it's put together is designed well enough that it makes a lot of sense. And if you 
are looking for something like a, a, a semi-espresso type drink when you're out in the in the woods, if you like a fresh cup of coffee and you're willing to put in the, the time and the effort to do it right, I don't think this is a bad way to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down in the comment section down below. If you haven't done so before, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you down the trail. Thanks.